Good evening, guys. Uh, hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Good evening. How are you? Hi, Hi Mauricio. Fun. Hi, Juanjo. Eh, Dinora, how are you doing? Yeah. Are you Hola, okay? buenas noches. Hello. Thank you so much for joining, guys. Hello. ¿Qué tal? Hello. ¿Cómo están? How are you doing? We are fine. Thank you. How I'm are fine. you? I'm doing just great. Thank you so much for asking. I think I'm doing fine. Just my voice is like... I'm losing it again, <laughs> but anyways, it's part of the show, I guess. Uh, so thank you guys, les agradezco por acompañarnos um, today in session number six. So I guess the rest are going to be joining uh, later. One moment. Guys, eh, pudieron completar el ejercicio? Were you able to complete the exercise yesterday? Yes, teacher. Escucharon el audio? Did you listen to the audio? Did you just complete it? Yes, of course. Ah, very nice. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Let's go though. Was it difficult? Yeah. A little difficult. But, okay, was it a little hard? Okay, um, so did you listen to conversations two and three, both of them? Were you able to complete both of them, guys? I complete the conversation, please. The, okay, the you, you completed both. Yes, Juanjo? -Ho. Solo tengo just one because I can hear other instructions. Oh, you couldn't hear the rest. I couldn't hear the rest because I didn't know what I didn't do. <laughs> what I have ah, to do. Uh, okay. So the exercise. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Okay, there you go. Actually, se los estoy compartiendo, so I'm, I'm sharing this one in the um, in the platform para que tengamos acceso to, I mean, in, in WhatsApp, right? Uh, the idea was to just uh, listen and uh, uh, listen and write. So you are supposed to listen to the conversation number two, right? Uh, listen y escriba todo lo que entienda. De ser posible como una especie de dictado, right? <coughs> So that was pretty much the idea. <clears throat> okay, I got it. I will. Uh, so that was like the, the point here. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. Thing is just fine. Okay, guys. So um, we are going to check the listening later. So we're going to check how you did, um, if you got most of it, if you are missing some parts. Uh, but today, uh, Bobos, we're going to get started. Ya uh, con la unidad número two. Que está bastante fácil, right? It's pretty complicated. It really isn't that complicated at all. But lo vamos a enfocar, enfocar más de grammar. We're not going to check grammar much. Lo vamos a hacer un poco más de spoken practice, right? Because we are using uh, the listen that are, giving instructions. No sé qué tan fácil es para ustedes dar instrucciones, eh, cómo llegar a un lugar, cómo leer mapas. We're not going to get like too deep, but we are going to try to give general instructions with that. Ezequiel, good evening. Thank you for joining. Lady, thank you for joining too. Eh, Michelle, great to see you as well. Okay, guys, so let's get started. Let's begin. And my first exercise, guys, is the following. Let's voy a mostrar una picture. I'm going to show you a picture uh, for like 30 seconds. Uh, 
And guys, uh, for 30 seconds, please, no le tomemos capturas, so don't take a screenshot. No les escriban, don't write them down. Eh, solamente veamos los, um, los subjects e intentemos memorizarlo. So try to memorize as many objects as you can see. Eh, I hope you have a really good memory. So let's get started. Guys, this is the one. It says, remember the picture? Eh, ah, okay, Abigail. Thank you. Espero que mejore mis. Good evening. Okay, guys. So tenemos 30 segundos. You got 30 seconds to memorize tantos como pueden. As many as you can. Okay, guys, and time is over. So, um, all right, really quick. So there were a couple of objects, right? So there are a couple of them. I'm going to give you one minute, guys, para que podamos escribir tantos como recuerden. How many objects do you remember? ¿Cuántos se recuerdan, guys? Six. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Only six. How many do you remember, Juanjo? Uh, eight, I think. Ah, okay, not bad. All right. So, ¿qué recuerdan? What do you remember? Uh, I'll give you like one minute, guys. Hagan una lista, make a list of the objects that you remember, right? So, I'll give you some seconds. Mm. Motorcycle, umbrella, pan, hen, uh -huh. mm, banana. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Banana. Chicken. Mm, hen. Era It was a hen. Yeah. No era pollo. Uh, pollo. Okay, so a hen, you said? Okay. Fire. Una gallina, right? Fire. Fire. So, fire de fuego? Bam. Fuego. Fuego, sí. Okay, fire. Bank. So, bank. Umbrella. An umbrella, too. Okay. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Ah, refrigerator, okay. Globe. Mountain, teacher. Mountain, okay. So, una montaña, mountain, okay. Teacher, había un insecto, pero no sé cómo se dice. An insect. Oh, oh do you <laughs> remember? Ah, mariquita. How do you say mariquita in English? Uh, hay una, eh, hay okay. una eh, caricatura that has that name. Ni idea, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? Hay muchos más objetos. There are a lot. Flower. Flowers. Okay, so flowers. April. April. A, A. Audífono. Ah, earphones. Uh -huh. Earphones. Okay, so earphones. Banana, television, calculator. Ah, uh, banana television calculator, very nice, yes. Okay, let me show you the objects and let's take a look. Hey, there we go. I, I think we got it. Right. <laughs> you are right, this is a hen, exactly. So bananas, refrigerator, television, calculator. ¿Qué nos faltó, guys? We said fire, that's Teles okay. Telescope. Oh, telescope. What do you say, telescope? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, telescope. ¿Qué okay. más nos faltó? What else did we miss? There are candies or fruits. candy. Candy? Do you see candy there? Um, a dryer. At the bottom, this one. Yes. 
Yeah. And they look like fruit, but I don't know. Yeah, probably candy <laughs> or fruit. How do you say mariquita, guys? Uh, no, no say. <laughs> okay, so it is ladybug. Lady? It is called ladybug. Y el secador de pelo, ¿cómo se dice, teacher? Ah, dryer. 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 Teacher, mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you write the uh, mariquita in English? Oh, uh, that's the ladybug. So lady, like lady, right? Uh, lady and then bug. So ladybug. That's the ladybug. Mm, ladybug. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Let me Thank see, you, and teacher. I think we got most of it. Oh, what is this? What is this fruit? Watermelon, I think. Um, melon. Yes, melon. 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 Yeah, melon. probably melon, melon honeydew. Melon. Okay, and this one? Spaghetti. Spaghetti, no. okay. Or Goku, give me another number. Fideo. <laughs> ah, exactly. How do you say fideos, guys? Fideos. No, no. No. <laughs> no. Do you remember know. Kung Fu Panda? It has a, a, a name. No? So we call it noodles. So if you like that kind of food, that is noodles, right? So we have noodles. We oh sorry, I'm missing one letter. Okay, noodles, a calculator. Okay, but I think you got most of it. So very nice job. Then you got it. Hi, Jorge. Jorge. <laughs> Good evening, Georgina. Good evening. Great to see you. Uh, let's see. Uh, nos acompaña there. Noe, great to see you. Good evening. All right, so let's continue here. Vamos a revisar, guys, un poquito de Derisa and Derar. We're going to be checking today. ¿Qué es lo que encontramos? So what do we find from every object? But to do that, vamos a revisar first a little conversation. Um, este tema está bien fácil because ustedes ya lo vieron in the previous module. And but of course, vamos a revisar un poquito, um, right? Um, so some prepositions y como dar indicaciones to that are important. So let's take a look. Here we have objective. Tell company location using the reason there are. What places are there in your workplace? And how many meeting rooms do exist in your work, in your company. Guys, uh, talking about your company, ¿qué encuentran? What do you see in your company, guys? Uh, is there a dining room? ¿Tienen una zona para comer? Do you have a dining room? Is there a cafeteria? Recuerdo que alguien nos contaba la vez anterior que no les vendían, right? No les vendían agua or something in the cafeteria. I don't remember who the person was. Uh, guys, but ¿qué hay en su empresa? What do you have in your company? ¿Solo son oficinas? Yes, offices. Yeah. Is it a warehouse? In my yes. case, in my case, eh, in my company, mm -hmm. have a cafeteria. No, there y, is a cafeteria. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the service until. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Okay. Yeah. So, después de eso, after 7 a.m., no more cafeteria. No more cafeteria as until. Okay. Uh... Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Mauricio, I'm sorry. By mistake, lo silencio. <laughs> I'll mute you, please. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Yeah. So you said that after seven, there is no cafeteria. <clears throat> uh, until seven eight a.m. and and the lunch uh twelve until one. Ah, okay. Wow. Okay. So so no bastante estricto. Yeah. That sounds like they are super strict. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, so there is a cafeteria. Guys, let's take a look at this one. And uh, previously, I think that you were familiar that there is and there are. Lo usamos para decir que es lo que hay, right? So there is, I, there are, I, pero there is es para cosas que hay solo uno. 
and there are para varios. Look at the conversation we have right here. Um, and we have like a description of a place. So I would like to listen to some volunteers. Guys, volunteers, can you ayuda a leer? Who wants to read? Abby. Me teach. Perfect. So Abby and Jorge, right? Jonathan. So Abby, help us with Tom. And Mr. Narvaez, help us with Orson, please. My name is Tom. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Orson. I work for Osh. Oh, I know that company. There is an office in San Salvador downtown. Yes. We're growing, so there are not many branches in the country yet. Mm -hmm. There are few. What company do you work for? I work mm -hmm. for ECO, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited one of the stores the, the other day on the day yeah you did it awesome i don't know it's okay i think i read the other one um i think so <laughs> yes okay so uh, well, yes, yes, creo que la yes. parte de Osamba, that's great. Sorry, está movidito. Okay, Jorge, so ayúdenos con esa parte. That's great. Yeah. That's great. There are uh, six in San Salvador. La termina mi parte. A ver. <laughs> no hay problema, that's okay. All right, so finish, please, Jorge. Finish it up. We are planning on launch in Santa Ana this day. It is in one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Sounds really good. Okay, guys, so let's take a look here. Uh, first, tenemos un par de words that are super important. And una de ellas is uh, branches. So they repeated the word branches all over again. It says there are 25 branches in the country. Guys, your company, ¿cuántas branches tiene? How many branches do you have? Eso significa sucursales. Exactly, those are sucursales. Do you have many branches? Only one. Only one branch? In my case. Yes. Okay. And so Salvador. Another, another country. Ah, okay. So one in El Salvador, in, in which country? Nicaragua. Ah, one in Nicaragua. Okay, so only two. So, ¿ya no hay más? No more? Teacher, in my case. Oh, una that in that Honduras, pero se uh -huh. eh, Yes. Dinora, I think it was Dinora. Teacher, in my case, company have the there are three branch. Where? Where are the branches? In Santa Tecla, La Tiendona, and San Miguel. Ah, okay. So there are three branches. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Really interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? What <clears throat> does your company have any branch? In my case, no teacher. No, only one, only the headquarters. Yes. Okay. Well, so si no hay branches, le podemos llamar como los headquarters, right? Que son como el único punto de distribución or the only place. So headquarters. Okay. Okay, okay. Guys, anybody else? Do you have branches? Yeah. Are there any branches in your company? In my case, uh, uh, there is a branch in Korea, ah, Vietnam, okay. Vietnam, China, wow. uh, Bangladesh. Oh my God. Uh, Do you work in a call center? No. It is a... Uh, 
the company is the confection the jacket, the North Face. Okay. Yeah, because if you have in Bangladesh, in Korea, I'm like, mm -hmm. wow. Okay. So, por eso es que habla con coreanos, right? That's yeah. why you, you speak with Korean. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yes. Okay, very interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Guys, anybody else? ¿Cómo realizar? Hacer. Ajá, execute. No, no sé si hablaba con nosotros. No. <laughs> so, no era con nosotros. You, you weren't talking to us. Okay. Really nice. Yes, teacher. Okay. I was talking with my wife. Oh, in English? Yes. Do you practice English with her? Yes. Uh, that she is learning Korean. She's learning Korean? Okay. Yes. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Can she speak English? A little bit, teacher. Ah, okay. Wow, but that sounds great. So you can practice. So you can both practice. That's really good. Okay. Okay, guys. So take a look here. We use the reason and the learn normally to describe qué es lo que tenemos, right? Um, so if I want to say in my company, I esto, I normally say there is or there are. Guys, quick question. Um, ¿Alguna vez en el inglés corporativo? Have you ever been there? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. No, teacher. Guys, you need to go. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully in the future uh, we can have presential classes. But in English Corporativo, there is a big garden. So there is a really, really big garden in the back, like in the backyard. And uh, there is an avocado tree. That is big. That's super, super enormous. Um, what about in your company, guys? Is there a garden? In a jardin? Is there a backyard? Yes, in my workplace, yeah. there are a big, a big garden mm -hmm. in front and in back. Wow, and nice. So uh -huh. a big swimming pool, too. No, are you serious? Did yes. you go swimming? No, it's not to use it. <laughs> and what? So what is that for? <laughs> so no es tengo, so it's not in use? No. No. Does it have water? Yes, yes. ¿Y quién la usa? Who uses that one? Anybody. Just. No. Solo está ahí. <laughs> no, why? But do you work in Colegio Médico, no, right? No, no. GBM El Salvador. Okay, but in the swimming pool, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, so I love swimming. So, I mean, it's like, okay. So look for is that I what's the point? Okay. <laughs> so there is there are two big gardens. Guys, decorativo. Your... ¿Cómo se dice decorativo? Ah, for decoration. Decoration. <laughs> no, but you know that, Porque that sí, is la so, cuidan um... a diario, le dan los tratamientos y todo, uh -huh. pero no, no solo está ahí por decoración. Is it big? Yes, big, big. No, why? With the but, jumping. With the traveling? No, yes. but why? Okay, not even for employees, ni siquiera para empleados, it's no. not in use. Wow. No. That is, okay, that is so unfair, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> it should. Imagínate con esos calores, so you can go to the, you can go swimming, you know, after uh, ending your shift. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you? Okay, it's interesting in your companies. What do you have in your company? So Juan would tell us about the swimming pool that nobody uses. <laughs> what about the rest of you? There isn't any, anything that is kind of interesting, guys? No? Mm -hmm. Ezequiel, Abby, Dinora. Stephanie, nothing, Georgina. Is there anything like interesting in your workplace? Like me, lady? Teacher, in my case, the company have area 
with sister, no sé cómo se dice. Ah, gras. Gras. That is gras. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, only that. After ah, is okay. parking. <laughs> Ah, all right, but there is a parking space. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. Because uh, furgones, no sé cómo se dice. Mm -hmm. There are trucks. Okay, uh, need. Uh, o sea, necesitan espacio para poder descargar. Ah, okay, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. well, that sounds okay. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so there is a. So there is a parking space. Okay. Yeah. In the chat, I wrote the word that is grass, right? So grass is como la, mm, lo que usted mencionó. Um, that'll be, okay. So that'll be the, the um, las áreas verdes, right? O como se puede, con grama. That's the word we use. Okay, guys. So we're going to try to remember. Vamos a intentar recordarnos un poquito how to use that is and that are. Uh, a little bit of the descriptors, right? And take a look at this picture really quick. Tenemos varias pictures. We have a couple of them. And guys, I'm not going to explain you too much how to use it because I'm sure you remember. Solamente vamos a intentar agarrar un poquito de fluidez al momento de describirlo, right? Um, so look at this picture. It looks like a house, right? Pero algunos trabajamos en casa. You are doing a still home office. O en algún momento ustedes hicieron home office, I believe, con eso de COVID-19 and everything. So vamos a intentar describir different pictures. Um, guys, I'm going to make some groups. And uh, les voy a indicar una foto. I'm going to give you one picture para que podamos describirla, right? In the, the, like, the fastest you can, lo más rápido que puedan. And we are going to be helping each other. So... Okay, so Juanjo, Kenya, Mauricio, Jose, Noé, and Stephanie. Esta es su foto. This is your picture. Eh, wait, guys, no se vayan. Don't leave, don't leave. Eh, Abigail, eh, Abigail todavía está acá. Abigail, Bonilla, Miss Bonilla. Sí, aquí está. Okay. Solo que manda grabando los dientes. Yeah, I'm sorry, no, no worries. Es lo que pasa es que los demás de su grupo ya se fueron. Entonces, uh, les quiero mostrar la picture. I'm going to show you this picture really quick. Uh, so, give me a moment. Michelle está por acá. Are you here? Michelle, where are you? Okay. Hola. Hi, Miss. No sé qué pasó. I don't know what happened. So, uh, no, le voy a compartir. Es que me uní al grupo. Y entonces yes. me pareció que usted me estaba llamando otra vez para acá. Sí, no sé qué pasó. Yo creo que por error lo hice. But we can join okay. the group. No problem. Okay. So, eh, esa es la foto inicial, la que les estoy compartiendo. Describamos todo lo que podamos, right? Describe everything you can with the group. So, some minutes, guys. Hello guys, so I'm going to be displaying some pictures and please describe everything you see using the is and that are.
All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming back. Um, so how did it go? Uh, did you um, remember a little bit how to describe things, how to describe objects? Or not so much? Uh, did you have, tuvieron algún problema con el vocabulario, guys? Did you have any difficulty with the vocabulary here? Eh, teacher, la que el, ahí en el que está en el piso, ¿qué es eso? Mm, el sofá, del sofá, el this sofá, one? no, en el piso está, cerca, uh, ne, ne, near, one? near, eh, this one right here on the corner, sí, ya, yeah. oh, ok, so actually that looks like an album, that looks like a sort of family album, so family album sounds good, ah, uh, uh -huh. yeah i i know that it's not quite sure but we it's not super clear but yeah we can use like a family album um no. guys tuvieron problemas describiendo el vocabulario do you have difficulties describing the vocabulary in the pictures or no a piece of cake oh. super fácil para decir cojín teacher um si son esos de acá le llamamos yeah. cautions caution Mm -hmm. okay. They are questions. Okay. So, son los de la um, question. Question, question, okay. Question. Si son los de la cama, they are pillows, right? So, uh -huh. the word changes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, how uh, say, yeah? How do you say in, in the, in, on the style of the camisa? Mm, like a rack? Ah, yes. The, so, that is like a... Uh, in the door. In the yeah. Door. We can call them rack or we can call them holders. They are racks or holders. Any other guys? What about the other pictures? Did you have difficulties with the other pictures? Like this one or this? No tuvieron dificultades, guys. You didn't have any difficulty describing them. Eh, the name, esa que parece canasta, este basket. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, that say? is. Yes, that can be a sort of basket. Exactly. Okay. okay. We can use that as a basket. Okay, guys. So if there wasn't like any big issue, then let's go back. And guys, describe, no? describe what you see in the living room. Uh, I need some victims. <laughs> Georgina, you're gonna be my first victim. So, Miss, tell us about this picture. Que lo a ver. What do you see in this picture, please? I'm sorry. <laughs> No worries, de hecho escribirle iba que estaba en silencio. <laughs> Porque lo vi bien emocionada talking and suddenly I was like, oh no, she's, uh, she's mute. <laughs> um, um, la, la. Uh -huh. Sofa. Okay, díganos oraciones completas, full sentences, like with there is and there are, please. Um, there is a... Uh, Land, there is a sofa, and there are a um, radio notebook, uh, notebook, mm -hmm. pen, um, news, newspaper in on the table, mm -hmm. and there is a bicycle. Mm, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay. Um, it's all... <laughs> <laughs> okay, very nice. So that's it. Already sounds really cool. Guys, uh, oh, Georgina, please selection alguien más. Select another person. Select another 
select somebody. Seleccione alguien, me select somebody. Um, uh, Jorge Jonathan. Okay. So Jorge, Mr. Narvaez, I think it is. So Mr. Narvaez, tell us a little bit about uh, the following picture. Uh, what do you see in this picture? Uh, Jorge? Quizás se ha levantado Mr. Narvaez. Ok, entonces, um, Salvador. Ok, oh, Salvador is here. Salvador, are you with us? Uh, Salvador. Hi. Uh, probably he's not here. Okay. Oh, we are we are lucky, Miss. <laughs> so we are selecting the victims that are not here. Okay, <laughs> let's let's go on with the next person. Uh, Salvador. Sure. Hi, how are you? Fine. In my house. Ah, Hector. Bye, Hector. Ayúdenos. <laughs> Gracias por, gracias por ser voluntario. Okay. Thank you so much for volunteering. Es que okay, me, so... me había ido, pensé que a mí me estaba llamando. Dicho. No, pero viene justo a tiempo. <laughs> <laughs> so you come Probably. right on time, no problem. Okay, uh, so Hector, intenta describirnos esta foto, please. Try to describe posiciones, preposiciones, like dónde están, what they look like, everything. Lo que pueda de esta foto. Me lo podría compartir, de hecho que no la miro. No le ve. Uh, ok, denme un segundo. Quizás no le está cargando. Probably it's not updating. Uh, so, give me one second. What about now? Can you see that now? La ve. Can you see? Ah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Ok. Oh, ok. Ya, yeah, no estaba cargando. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is one TV. Mm -hmm. there, there, there are to sofa sofa mm -hmm. there there are two plant mm -hmm. there is there is one clock mm -hmm. there are three paint mm -hmm. there there are two window there are two three mm -hmm. three okay and there are one ta one one table. Okay. Uh, there are many books. Mm -hmm. Okay. I understand. What are the books? In the front to the paint, the animals. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they are in front. Okay. Uh, ¿Qué más? What else can you see? Uh, Le voy a ver algo más. Do you see anything else? Okay, and I think that's enough. Okay, Hector, very nice job. Really good description. Guys, try to give us uh, like more details, right? Creo que perdimos a Hector right there. Mr. Sanchez, tell us about this picture. How do you describe it? What can you see over here? In the bar, in the bedroom, there is a bed. Mm -hmm. There are lamps. Okay. There are pillows. All right. And there is mirror. Uh -huh. and there are two paints in the wall. Okay. There are two um, table or yes, yes. Uh, okay. There are table. Yes, there are and two tables. There is a plant in the corner. Very nice. And there are 
two baskets mm -hmm. there are uh, some books okay there are some books too what do you think about this bedroom is it okay for you does it look good is it bad what do you think about this one is a beautiful and big bedroom uh, okay would you like a bedroom like this yes why uh, i don't know because is um very ordered and and for me is big because uh, my bedroom is very very short small. <laughs> yeah, ah, small. Okay. no that, that's a really nice thing exactly and so, the uh -huh. paint the walls is for me is 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 some beautiful so it looks good yeah. yes oh okay okay nice nice that's a really nice description actually okay very good so thank you let's go with one more just to check it out and it is this one uh guys i need somebody else lady is up for the car are you with us okay so lady tell us a little bit please and there is a shape Mm -hmm. um, there are four pictures. Okay. And um, there is a. I see on the como se dice librera. There is a bookshelf. Yes. <laughs> okay. There is a lamp. Okay. And there it, it, is, a... is that a small? Is that big? What can you tell us about the lamp? Um, it's a big. Okay, so it's a big. Medium, medium. Oh, okay. There is a small aire conditionado. Air conditioning. Air conditioning. Mm -hmm. and there is a sofa okay there is a sofa and there is a small plant okay there is um one carpet <laughs> okay what color is it is um gris <laughs> no gray mm, gray. gray does it look good does it look bad what can you tell us about that one what do you think about this room the room is a uh, big it is big, um, okay. It's small vintage. Ah, very nice. <laughs> Looks like a sort of a vintage one. Okay, perfect. Sounds really good. Thank you so much for uh, describing that one. It looks really, really nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, so pretty much exactly, guys. We use just the reason there are to talk a little bit about the description. But of course, siempre podemos dar un poquito más de detalle, right? Like as she said, it looks kind of vintage. What's your opinion on that? Now, um, coming back to this part, vamos a revisar a little bit your material again. Y tenemos this part of there is and there are. Look at it. No vamos a detenernos mucho en la grammar. Porque ustedes ya pueden utilizarla, right? So just as a little reminder, si hay uno, Yo puedo decir there is one, or there is a, or there is an. Si son varios, utilizo there are. Uh, and puedo decir varios, like, ¿se recuerdan cómo decir varios? Si no los quiero contar, do you remember? Several. Very nice, exactly. So I can have there is a, there is an, siempre para uno. Y si son varios, I can say there are. And here comes the interesting part. Yo puedo decir a few. Uh, puedo decir some, puedo decir several, exactly, or puedo decir a lot. 
a lot of, pero tengo que decir de qué, right? Many. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Mm, match, no vamos a utilizarlo acá, porque match es para nombres incontables. So, más como para agua, eh, sugar, sol, pero para cosas que no las voy a pluralizar. Um, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre a few, some, and several, guys? Poco, algunos. Some es alguno, few, uh -huh. a poco, uh -huh. a poco. En several, lo que vale. Y yes. a lo mucho. Yes, yes, exactly. So, guys, if I ask you, hey, how many uh, pairs of shoes are there in your room? ¿Cuántas pares de zapatos tienen, guys? How many pairs of shoes are there in your room or are there in your house? One thousand. <laughs> okay, Fair. so uh, here I can use, exactly. Si tengo uno, dos pares de zapatos, ah, there are a few pairs of shoes. Goodness. Si son, a few es poquitos, right? One, two, three. Si hay algunos, there are some pairs of shoes. Si hay varios, ah, there are several pairs of shoes. Several es ya una cantidad considerable. Y muchos, ah, there are a lot of pairs of shoes. Uh, guys, how many pairs of shoes do you have? ¿Cuántos tienen? How many do you have? No, no, es... no, 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 that's why. Como no los vamos a contar, demos un estimado. A few para poquitos, son para algunos, o a lot para bastantes. I have to be honest, I have a few pairs of shoes. Tengo muy pocos eh, pares de zapatos because with COVID, yo dejé de utilizarlos because I was doing home office. Y decidí ya no comprar más. So I have like maybe five pairs of shoes. Yo digo que es poco. I think it's a few. Uh, guys, what about you? How many pairs of shoes do you have? ¿Cuántos tienen, guys? I have some pairs of, pair of shoes. Ok, son pairs of shoes. ¿Quién tiene a lot of pairs of shoes? ¿Hay alguien que tenga muchos? Women. No, hay conocido hombres que tienen a lot of pairs of shoes. Girls. Me, maybe. Ajá. Uh -huh. How many, Jorge? Uh, six, seven. Six. Ah, no, that's a few. Todavía tiene some, a few, poquitos. Ajá. Uh -huh. Guys, ¿cuántos son? No, ¿Cómo no, 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 cuántos? Ya alguien que tenga 20. Uh, exactly. Una segunda docena quizás. Ajá, like 20, 30, 40. Ah, pues sí. Alguien que coleccione, no. yes. Las mujeres ahí en... No, 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 always for a So, I don't know. Ya vamos a ver si coleccionan algo. There, 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 there were a, a few. A few? Ok, son unos yeah. pares nada más, algunos. Guys, ¿alguien tiene a lot? Who has a lot of pairs of shoes? Nadie, nobody, girls. Demostrémosle a los hombres yo que no tengo... solo nosotros. Se verá, creo yo, varios, pero no sé cuánto exactamente. Tengo like 20? Porque hay unos que ni me los pongo. <risa> ah, exactly, that's the point. Like 20? <risa> Alrededor de 20? Like 20? Maybe. Ah, ok. Guys, what about the rest? Los demás, how Pero many que do sí, you have? Hay que sí, No, oh, no, 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 women. Vladimir, how many do you have? Kenya, how many pairs of shoes do you have? Um, I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. I have um, maybe 16 pair of shoes. Oh, I that's have, so. Uh -huh. I have a um, pair of shoes in my house, but I have uh, three pairs in, in my office. In my office. Too. <laughs> in the office. Wow. Yes, because I okay. go to my work in tennis, but okay. in the work I change the shoes. Ah, okay. I feel so identified with that because normally I, from my house to my work, I went in chanclas. I just to go in chanclas, you know, in flip flops. And then in my work, I change shoes, right? So, <laughs> okay, 16 or 20. Boys, pero estoy segura, I'm sure that boys have a lot of pairs of shoes. Creo que les da pena decir. I think no, they teacher. don't want to share. My case, no, teacher. No? I'm in, sir, with yeah. you. What about you're, your you're... wives? Is sus esposas, guys, your wives? 
years years ago there were a lot of tennis now not anymore ya no más not anymore actually i don't todavía <laughs> still so ya vamos think, a hacer yeah i think my wife has around 15 50 pair of shoes 55 zero yes 50. oh my god that's a lot <laughs> oh my god okay that's a lot of pairs of shoes the question is look, she is, look at me right now does she wear them does she wear them <laughs> sorry does she wear them se los pone los usa does she wear them uh not at all <laughs> from time to time <laughs> okay <laughs> and she is going to be like oh my god why are you saying that in classes <laughs> why are you disclosing that information <laughs> okay yeah so that is exactly the point we did are a lot right so un nombre, un numero exagerado, like an exaggerated number of something so um let's take a look here at the exercises we have and in your material, guys, uh, we have read the sentences, find a mistake, and correct it. So look at number one. There is two branches in El Salvador. Where is the mistake? Are there are two branches? Ah, exactly, because we are talking about two, right? So we are not gonna use each. So there are two branches. Guys, help us with the rest. There are one facilities available. There is. There is. There is. Mm, but hay un error todavía. There is another mistake. Facility. Facility, exactly. So no plural, right? So there is one facility available or fácilmente podemos hacer todo plural. ¿Cómo lo plural? Uh, how can you make it plural? Porque acá corregimos dos veces. Now, dejemos la plural. Let's leave it plural. There are facilities mm -hmm. available. Very nice. Exactly. So, también puedo hacerlo plural. And I can say there are facilities available. Or usamos las palabras que acabamos de ver. There are a few facilities available. There are some. There are a lot. Normalmente siempre los utilizo para indicar si hay un poquito, bastantes, right? Etc. Number three. There is a new offices. Where is the mistake? Offices. Okay, so there is a new office, right? That would be the one. There is a new office. Number four, guys. What about four? <clears throat> materials. Materials. Ah, materials. Are are not... How can we make this? A very teacher. There are not. There are not. Yeah. There, there are not. not. Uh -huh. So there are not materials to work. Okay. So what is the mistake? Solamente el orden, right? So the order has been modified there. So I perfectly can say there are not materials to work. And number five, what do you have in number five? There is not three boxes in the lobby. Where is the mistake? There is. There are. There are, there are not three. Not. There are not three. Uh huh. Boxes. Exactly. So there are not three boxes in the lobby. Really nice. Exactly. So that is the way we use it, and you are doing a really nice thing here. Okay. So uh, if you remember, it's just a piece of cake. It's super fácil porque solamente vamos escribiendo, right? Um, okay, guys. So take a look at the following. Here we have this. Give me one moment. Give me one second. Because I got this uh, exercise for you to practice. Okay. So since we are using the reason that are to talk about the script, descriptors um we are going to use the following exercise guys here we have 
talk about the countries. And we have five different countries right here. Um, no sé si les gustaría viajar there. I don't know if you like to travel there. Uh, we have first one, the Lama. What is the country, guys? What's the first country here? Peru. Peru, exactly. We, so we got Peru. What about this? We have El Salvador. What is this country? Rome. Rome. Which one? Italian. Rome. Ah, Italy. Italy. Yes, it that is Italy. Italy, exactly. Sorry. Because you can see the Pisa Tower. Mm -hmm. okay. Rome creería que es famoso por el Coliseum, right? But this would be the Pisa Tower. What is this country, guys, on top? Brazil. Brazil. Brazil, exactly. So we got Brazil right there. And uh, we have the last one. So the last one, guys, the one on, at the bottom. Korea, Korea China. Mm, that's not Korea. China. That's not China. Japan. Japan. Japan, exactly. So that, that one is Japan. Very good. Okay, so here we have some of these things. Now, vamos a intentar describirlos. We are going to try to describe these countries. Question one, ¿qué hay en los países? What can you see in these countries? What can you find? Is that, intentemos dar toda la información, no solamente lo limiten a that is and that are. Pueden utilizar adjectives, right? Is it big? Is it small? Is it cheap? Is it expensive? ¿Qué saben de ellos? What do you know about them? And we are going to speak, guys. Cuando terminamos, when we finish, eh, vamos a, a seleccionar like some countries, right? De los que vamos a hablar to, eh, to present. But at the moment, describamos todo. Let's describe all of them. Eh, give me one second. I'm going to just make some groups here. Hi, Blanca. Good afternoon. Good, oh my God. Good evening. <laughs> So I'm changing you with good afternoon. So I'm going to have Kenya, no, um, and okay, so search. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, invite you. All right, let's wait, compartir siempre la imagen so you can take a look at it. Uh, Abigail, Georgina, Jorge Sanchez, Jose, Jose Ezequiel. And in order, nos quedamos por acá. We stay here. Guys, los demás vamos al grupo. Talk about the countries. Que saben de ellos? What do you know about them? All right. And try to describe them, please. I'm going to close my mic, guys. I'm going to turn it off para que ustedes puedan describir. Que saben de estos países? Que hay en estos países? So what can you find in these countries? There you go. Uh, so guys, no es necesario que lo escriban. You're not supposed to write it down. Solamente hablemos. Just speak. Give opinions. Si no saben mucho, it's okay. Se lo pueden inventar. Que han oído. What well, have you heard? Anything, guys. Let's do it. In the Chinese, the education is... Sorry. In the China. Japan. It's Japan. Her eyes are similar. Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. But mm. this country is Japan. <laughs> really? Do they look similar? No, I don't know. No, but yeah, you may be right. You may be right. You know, one of the differences, I think, is the culture. It's so different. I think they have um, similar food. I don't know. But mm -hmm. and the TV is so... Uh, documentaries and the the food is is similar for this country japan and korea okay 
But I will, I, I will like to visit in Brazil. Japan also. Mm -hmm. The woman. I, I would like to visit Brazil because and there are some uh, beautiful beach. Um, beautiful what? Beach. Is playa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I'm like... Um, Peru, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Peru. Peru. <laughs> um, Peru. Because in Peru there is a mountain of seven colors. Yes. In Peru and the beautiful place for me is um, Machu Picchu. Yes. Machu Picchu. Yes. Yes, I like Machu Picchu. Also in Brazil, um, I like to uh, this, um, I don't know, the monument, the um, uh, Cristo Redentor says, yeah, his name, I think. In this is Rio de Janeiro. Place. And the carnival is similar the San Miguel Carnaval, Jose. El carnaval de Rio. Uh, it's more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> In Italy, uh, there are some beautiful places. No, the um, in these pictures uh, we can see the Pisa towers and the Coliseum. But in Italy, uh, for example, uh, Venezia is um, is uh, so beautiful place. Uh, in the Salvador. <laughs> ah. Um, in the Salvador, I like um Volcan. Mm. We have a a a, a a lot of beautiful places. Mountains and but, uh, but I have um, um many volcanoes yeah in the Salvador. Jose Ezequiel. Yes, I'm here, Mister. ¿Cómo está el volcán por ahí? Ahorita husmeando. <laughs> it's terrible it's horrible <laughs> it's a dangerous yes it's dangerous I feel sad for the people who live uh, around the volcano yeah because it's um, an activity yes I don't know if you see the notice when the a rock fall down um, on the cow. I, yeah, on the cow. Yes. Amazing. And 
how do you say temblor? Earthquake. Oh. That a lot of, and in this moment, in this country. That's it. El quick. <clears throat> when you go to sleep, you um, you have um, a preparate when you go to the bed in the night. The people uh, around the uh, like what? <laughs> yeah. Something prepared prepare like what? Uh, because uh, if I the activities um a lot of uh, in the Balkan, you can go to the to the other city <laughs> or the other place. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> No te voy a agarrar el temblor de cuidado. Bueno, estamos dormidos ahí, los tocó. <risa> Hay que el señor los socorra, dicen. Hey, it's okay. I was listening to uh, this part that you live close to San Miguel's volcano. Uh, yes. But do, do you live very close? Um... No, teacher. No mucho. So, even if there is an, an, an eruption, no lo afectaría. It wouldn't affect you. I think so, but okay. <laughs> la verdad que no sé. No, but I mean, no está tan cerca, right? So, that is the point. You are not super close. No. Mm, okay, thank you. El problema es la gente que vive alrededor. Yeah, that's the point. Hay un lugar que se llama Las Placitas, que es muy habitado, eh, San uh -huh. Andrés, inclusive una colonia, creo que la más grande de San Miguel. Uh -huh. y la mayoría, pues, es una colonia que hay cuatro etapas, o sea, es una, es otro San Miguel, pues, prácticamente. Uh -huh. Porque... And there are a lot of people. Sí. Bastante. Okay. Sorry. Yo creo que escuché a alguien. Yo también. Pero no sé si fue a... Yo creo que el, el audio de alguien. Ok, well, but that is really interesting. So, uh, well, hopefully, if God willing, you know, uh, no va a pasar nada. Nothing will go on. Aunque eventualmente creo que it's going to make an eruption, right? ¿Qué? Okay. But I mean, va a ser una erupción. It is going to make an eruption. Así es probable. Dicen que estaba en etapa número cuatro de erupción. El lado de San Jorge eh, había bastante ¿Cómo? ceniza, ashes. Mm -hmm. Sí, el punto es que aunque no queramos, right? So, como que es, in, uh, it's going to happen. So, sí va a pasar, yeah. right? Anyway, so let's esperemos que we get ready before that. Um, okay, guys, so what about the others? We still got uh, some of them. Uh, ya, ¿Ya discutieron el resto de, de países? Do you already discuss the rest? Uh, we were talking about those countries, teacher, uh, about the Japan and Brazil and a little bit from Peru. Ah, okay. Is there any of these countries that called your attention? Which one? I mean, any, is there any, any country that called your attention? Like any country uh, where you would like to travel? I would like to travel uh, to, to, the, uh, to Korean, to Korea. South Korea, why? Why South Korea? Uh, I like the, culture why yeah i don't know 
Um, are you interested like in K-pop? Are you interested like in food? The way they live? What calls your attention? Um, the clothes, for example. Mm -hmm. The clothes and, and yeah, the, well, the food, <laughs> not tanto, teacher. No, ah, okay. Not food. Comen cosas raras. Uh, well, no, not necessarily. Uh, but probably. <laughs> okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Is there anything that calls your attention? For this picture, teacher, I would like to visit to Peru and Brazil. Peru and Brazil. Yeah. Okay, so in Peru, which place would you like to go to? The Machu Picchu. I like ah, the, this okay. place. Yeah, is a. Uh, I have a, a, a. I can, I can say if is is my dream for the child. Mm -hmm visit to Machu Picchu. I like this type for places in the world. Mm -hmm. And in 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 El Salvador, mm -hmm. I like to visit, for example, in, uh, in Chalchuapa, we have uh, Tazumal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I like this, um, uh, I like the, do you like like history. the culture they like yeah uh -huh. oh, I okay. like the culture yeah mm -hmm. and Brazil because uh, there are uh, many beautiful places and mm -hmm. I saw the partners uh, this place for example the Cristo Redentor in Rio de Janeiro mm -hmm. is uh, for me is a beautiful place oh okay interesting yeah. So Rio, uh, Rio de Janeiro. So you like to go to, to the Redentor. Okay, yeah. uh, sounds good. Actually, my my dreams place I think would be Peru, uh, but because of the culture and the places, uh, more than El Salvador, I think. But sounds nice. Sounds really good, guys. Anybody else? Uh, Dinora. Uh, um, let me see who else is here. I cannot see everybody from the group. Teacher, uh, yes. Me, okay. I, I want now. I want now. Um, the Machu Picchu too. Ah, okay. Why? Because. Uh, because there is a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. And in the in, interesting too. Okay, yeah, that's okay. But what place in much uh, in, in Peru would you like to be there? I was selling like much. Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> only on, only say Machu Picchu. I don't know there are other places. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So just like the ruins. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, sounds all right. Guys, anybody else? I see Abigail's here. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to travel. I'm so sorry, miss. I'm I'm losing you. Se escucha un poquito lejos. Como por Japón, más o menos. Llegando. <laughs> <laughs> se oye bien lejos. You're far away, but creería que es el audio. I'm sorry, I do like the mic, probably. Miss, usted no se escucha. Can you listen to us? Hola, hola, can you hear? Can um, you listen to us? I want to travel to Korea. I know the Korean No, no escucho nada yo. Yeah, pensé que era yo. Uh, Miss, es que le empezamos a escuchar, but suddenly ya no. 
Usted nos escucha. Can you listen to us? ¿Eh? Oh, ok. Hoy me escuchan bien. Yes, 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 ah, yes. Más yes pero... ¿Será, la, <ríe> ¿Será el micrófono? Probable. Mm, ay, probable. Hay que okay. ver. Mi sobrinita está escuchando también. <ríe> Creo que por eso era. <ríe> ah, ah, ok. <ríe> That's all right. Ah, yeah. Pero sí, I want, I want to travel to Korea. Mm -hmm. I love Korean soap opera. I want to visit mm, La Torre de Seúl. Ah, why? El teleférico. I, I want... Uh -huh. uh, no sé cómo es ese teleférico, pero me gustaría subirme en ese teleférico. Okay, but why? What can you see there? Mm, Korea? Oh, I don't, I don't understand. No, yes, yes. So, ¿qué puede ver ahí? I mean, oh, what can you find mm, in there? El paisaje. Ah, ok. So, sí, el teleférico es algo bien largo y se ve todo, todo según desde ahí. Ah, ok. So, it's like, uh, es como la vista, probably like a view. There is a, um, a view of the country from there. Hay una vista al país. Es... There is a view. Sí, bien, no sería. Seúl es una ciudad. Ah, ok. Yeah, you're right. I'm saying a country. Mm -hmm. I... <clears throat> Only my... My wish. <laughs> my wish sería eso. Yes. Mm -hmm. ah, Visitar okay. Korea. Mm, sounds all right. Sounds really good. Ok. Anybody else, guys? Okay, I think we got it. <laughs> okay, guys, give me just a moment. I um, think we got to listen to some of you, but we got to listen to the rest as well. So let me just bring the rest of the people here so we can listen to um, the places that like to, they like to visit and what they can say about those countries. Give me a second. I think I'm missing some people. Hi, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, no, everybody's back. Okay, guys. So, really quick, we were talking about some of these countries, right? Guess lo que hay? What can you find in each of them? Guys, uh, let's talk about the first. Let's talk about Peru. Uh, what can you find, guys, in Peru? Beaches. 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 Besides Machu Picchu. So, aparte de Machu Picchu, ¿Qué más podemos encontrar? What else can we find? I think um, in Peru that a place called the Salad Desert. Salad Desert. I think. Salad Desert. I think it's in Bolivia. Oh, yes, yes. El Desierto de Sal, right? Yeah, yeah. I think. I'm not sure, but I think that is in, uh, in Bolivia. Um, so the desert Georgina, down up your hand no I'm sorry Georgina up the hand oh okay yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay Georgina tell us tell us um, in, in Peru and there is a mountain of seven colors 
Mm -hmm. the, uh, beautiful. Okay, yes, yeah, so there is a mountain of seven colors that people say there are llamas, that's right. And everybody wants to go to Peru. Okay, yeah, I remember Jorge, like el que se mencionó, the Soul Desert. Because, eh, corríjame if it's wrong, pero es como uh, un desierto de sal en medio de las montañas uh -huh. o una laguna de sal en medio de las montañas. I don't remember. Es un desierto lleno de sal que hace como que se vea como que es agua, pero, pero realmente es únicamente el destello por la cantidad de sal que hay. Oh, ok. So that is the one. And I still don't get it. ¿Cómo es que llegaron? I don't remember. I heard my best friend wants to go there, but I don't remember. ¿Y ¿Cómo es que, um, que llegó la sal? Um, Do you know the story? No. No, I, I, I saw uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice el reportaje? Documentary for the uh, uh, influencer or YouTuber, uh, mm -hmm. Mexican influencer, Luisito Comunica. You can ah, say, yeah, like yeah. Luisito Comunica too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I saw in YouTube, is in, in, in Bolivia. And ah, yeah. yes. Yeah, but, but I, don't, I don't know what is the history. No, me yeah. neither. Uh, I don't remember. Um, I don't remember exactly like um like what is the process right como es que la sal llegó porque la sal no se crea ahí so no. salt is just in the sea uh -huh. so i don't remember exactly ya vamos a, a ir a ver a luisito comunicar yeah. <laughs> haciéndole publicidad acá. no but they are good guys do you like luisito comunica yeah but i like it. se aprende bastante you learn a lot yeah. So you definitely learn a lot. Okay, 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 very good. Uh, next one, guys, let's talk about um, uh, Italy. Would you like to go to Italy? Yes. Okay, why? Why, Hector? Because Italy, there, there are, there is a pizza. Mm -hmm. in, in Italy, uh, there is a, a big church, mm -hmm. the Vatican. Yes, okay. uh, there, there are uh, many people. In the many people is uh, also in Kent. Mm -hmm. In here, uh, there are uh, a few a few soccer, soccer liga and okay. there is um there is a como se dice ese volado que se ve en imagen there is a a, a colise, coliseum ah yes that's a famous coliseum right there okay yes that's right that's right Thank you, thank you for that. Okay, guys, any other, anything else, any other place where would you like to go? Nobody else, okay, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's go back, okay, in that case to our material. And um, so in the, in the, Nos hace falta todavía, we are missing the question form, so let's go back here y revisemos un poquito de question form. In your material, guys, uh, tenemos like asking for the information about places, pero también vamos a intentar hacer preguntas. So, ¿cómo hacemos preguntas, guys? How do we make questions? There is there. Exactly, exactly. So, las questions son muy fáciles, they are very easy, because previously, para describir, estábamos utilizando eh, there is, there are, right? For questions, 
Lo único que voy a hacer es cambiar el orden. So, si tengo there is, mi pregunta ahora va a ser is there. Si son varias cosas, are there. All right? But vamos a agregar algo más. We're going to add one more thing. Que es any. So in questions, vamos a utilizar la palabra any para identificar or just to add more information sobre si hay alguno. We are going to always skip any. Hay alguno. Is there any? Is there any garden in, in Del Salvador? Is there any, like, cheap place in, in Italy, right? Or in Peru? Is there any, like, agency you recommend, for example? So, para preguntar si hay, I'm going to use this one right here. Is there any? Are there any? La pregunta any solamente lo voy a agregar como para pedir más información, right? Eh, guys, I'll give you some minutes. Intentemos eh, crear más preguntas. Let's try to make some questions using is there any or are there any sobre países, guys. Uh, for example, um, what questions can I make? Si no sabemos mucho de países, cosa I'm honest, sé algo bien, bien limitado. But I think that we can talk about El Salvador, que we know El Salvador. Uh, podemos preguntar de sus comunidades, for example. So in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, is there any, hay algún, ah, I want to ask, hay algún parque? So in your neighborhood, is there any park? Is there, I'm sorry, I'm missing this one. Is there any park? So in su comunidad. I can ask, for example, in your office, in su oficina, um, is there any spot for you? Vamos a cambiar en vez de is there, vamos a poner do you have any spot. Guys, cuando hablamos de los eh, de offices, de las oficinas, y ustedes no tienen una oficina como tal, sino comparten el espacio con más personas, le llamamos a estos spot or cubicle, right? So, do you have any spot? Do you have any cubicle? So, la palabra más común sería spot. So, guys, utilizando is there, utilizando do you have any, hagamos preguntas. Let's make 10 questions, please. Really quick, guys. Super, super quick. 10 questions. Si tienen dudas cómo hacerlas, let me know y las, les ayudamos a hacerlos juntos. So, 10 questions, guys. <coughs> Teacher, las preguntas son las necesarias que se utilice de is y there are. Vamos a utilizar is there, are there, pero también podemos utilizar eh, do you have any para hablar también de, de objetos, right? So, si tienes algún tipo de algo. Do you have any spot? Tienes asignado un espacio personal. Eh, do you have any... I don't know, for example, en donde ustedes trabajan, eh, hay alguna eh, piscina, como el caso del compañero Juanjo. So, is there any swimming pool? Do you have any swimming pool? So, 10 questions. Is there, are there, or do you have any?
I'm gonna give you three, four minutes, guys. Are you ready, guys? Almost ready. I finished, teacher. Finished. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Uh, thank finished. you. Thank you, Hector. Thank you, Morris. Very nice. Let's just wait for the others to finish, too.
Okay, guys. So in the meantime, mientras los demás terminan, right? Um, vamos a uh, en el camino ir creándolas. So we're gonna make them on the way. Give me just a moment. Uh, so we're gonna practice it, guys. I'm going to ask you one more time to go to the groups, right? Hagámosle las preguntas. Now, quick thinking. Si alguien me pregunta, in your neighborhood, is there any park? ¿Cómo la responderían, guys? How would you answer it? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Exactly. Very no, nice. There. Uh -huh. No? Yes. No, there isn't. So, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Si alguien me pregunta, do you have any spot? ¿Cómo tienes un cubículo? ¿Tienes una oficina? Do you have any spot? Yes, I have. Yes. Yes, I, I am. I am. I have. I yes, I yes, I do. Yes, I do. Exactly. Yes, I do. Como la pregunta es, do you? Ah, yes, I do. No, I don't. So those are the things that we're going to be using. Okay, guys. So let's interview. So inter interview your classmates. I'm going to ask you to join them. Just for some minutes, ask them some questions. Wait, give me a moment. Okay, and there we go. Guys, it's gonna be solo cinco minutos. It's gonna be only five minutes. Interview them super quick. Y luego regresamos. Then you come back here. So let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
present. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Hector. All right, guys. So thank you for coming back. <laughs> Gracias por el present también. Thank you so much for the present. That was really funny. And uh, eh, well, guys, vamos a uh, like move forward here. Eh, teníamos las preguntas, right? Very nice job. Por ahí los estoy escuchando, but that was really good. Las preguntas are quite fine. And but of course, vamos a seguir trabajando el día de mañana with some of these because time goes really fast right here. Eh, un segundo, guys. Solamente ayúdenme con la confirmación. So help me with the confirmation that you're here. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. okay. Give me a moment. Give me just a moment here. Okay. Okay. Un segundo nada más, guys. Eh, okay. So, regálenme confirmación, please. Regálenme confirmation. Eh, estamos por acá. Creo que Abby, por ahí la vimos. Eh, Andrea Amalia. Espero que siga mejor, Miss. Eh, Blanca, por ahí, Vía Blanca. Eh, Georgina. Present. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much for that. No, un segundo, guys. Give me a moment. Okay, so, is Georgina there? Hector. Hector estaba por ahí, ya nos regaló el present. Eh, Jorge, present. And, Jorge Antonio. Present, did you? Gracias, Mr. George. And Jorge Jonathan. Jorge está por acá. Present, teacher. Gracias, Jorge. Thank you so much. I'm glad to listen to you. Ezequiel. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Juanjo. Present, teacher. Gracias, Juanjo. Julio César está por aquí. Creo que no he visto a Julio. No lo he escuchado. I haven't heard him. Um, no, he's not here. Okay, uh, Kenya. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, oh, well, Kevin is so enfermo. Mm, okay. Uh, lady. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Thank you so much. Uh, Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you. Noe. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, no, eh, tiene una voz bien profunda. Wow, nice. Es locutor, ¿no? ¿Cómo? Trabaja como locutor. O ¿Alguna no, vez ha trabajado no, como locutor? No. Soy no, es, I'm no es enfermo, right? You're not sick. No, no, no estoy enfermo. Así es. Ajá, ah, ya. Yeah. Es que mi voz se pone ronquita, you know, but when I'm sick, so I was like, ah, oh, qué profunda se escucha tu voz. Ok. Nice, nice. Me alegra verlo por acá. Eh, Sandra, abuela, Abigail está por acá. Eso, Abigail. Eh, I saw Michelle too. Dinora, regale mi confirmación, please. Present teacher. Gracias. And the Maris, que creo que me imagino está trabajando. I imagine she is working. Okay. Guys, solamente un breve reminder. Eh, les compartí por ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp el video. Si no lo pudieron hacer la conversación el día de ahora, please uh, listen to conversation number three. Escuchemos la número tres para el día de mañana. Eh, con confrontarlas, right? Para que podamos revisar qué es lo que ustedes escucharon con lo que la conversación dice y vayamos trabajando nuestro listening. Agradecerles, guys, por estar acá en los 120 minutos. Yo sé que algunos salen tarde de trabajar, pero se les agradece enormemente eh, el estar acá, el conectarse, a pasar de la hora, you know. And uh, remember, guys, so estos cursos son solo para ustedes. I mean, la idea es que ustedes hablen, que ustedes practiquen, um, and que ustedes desarrollen habilidades, right? So, thanks everybody. Ya estoy en el grupo, by the way, en WhatsApp. Si necesitan algo, necesitan trabajar anything, o sienten que les está acosando algún tema, no tengan pena en escribirme, guys. 
y con gusto vemos de qué manera podemos ir trabajando eh, algunas habilidades, right? So, thank you guys. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you so much and have an amazing night. Que descansen, people. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye, guys. See you, see you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay.